Today I will be doing a flip through of IEW structure install for students for you. I'll show you how it's set up and how I am using it in our homeschool. If we have not met, my name is Leslie. I am a homeschool mom of three boys. They are currently in grades 7, 4, and 2. And there is some contact information there for me if you're interested in, in getting in touch or keeping up with me. All right, so first things first, I'll just let you know that I am an affiliate for IEW. Therefore, I did get this curriculum for free from them, but I would have bought it anyway, even if they hadn't sent it to me. All right, so let's go on to the flip through. First, let's talk about how it's set up. It does come in a box, which is nice to keep all of the different materials that uh, you're intended to put together uh, very protected and nice and neat. And it's a handy little box if you need to store some of the materials in them. Pay attention to the year and the level uh, that you're purchasing if you choose to try this out. Um, my fourth grader is the one I'm using this with and uh, he's a really good reader and all but I still decided to get the lowest level for him uh, because I want him to focus on writing, learning how to write well and not on trying to understand the source text. There is a separate teacher's manual um, along with the student packet and a binder. So the box has a binder and the student packet with the different materials that are used for this writing curriculum that you're intended to put together. There are instructions for how to do all that, I believe. But um, for me, I decided not to use the binder. We use a, we're using a weekly binder now that has all their schoolwork in it. And so I just am putting the materials from the student packet each week, like just that, the lesson that we're currently working on. Um, I put that into behind their, his writing tab in his uh, binder, in his weekly student binder. Uh, but if you want to keep all of your writing materials together, there is a binder that you can put them all in. Now I uh, requested the streaming version of this curriculum. It does come with videos, which are really nice. Mr. Poudwa teaches very well, much better than I ever could. And you can get the videos via DVD, I believe, but I chose streaming. And what I do is I, um, I stream it onto my iPad and then mirror that to our Apple TV so we can watch it on the big screen in the living room. And that's worked out really well for us. Uh, there are seven different units with 24 lessons and each lesson is intended to last about a week. Uh, but we've, I know we've modified that some and you can change it if you need to. Uh, th this is like their, their uh, recommended lesson planning. Um, but we sometimes take more than a week for um, the lessons. There are different topics covered. So if you're wondering, is this going to get all the different writing areas? If it's, is this going to cover all of that? And I think it does. Um, a lot of times when people think about writing for elementary students, they're thinking about like creative writing and it does have inventive writing in there, uh, retelling stories, uh, writing from pictures. So that's what I consider to be the kind of creative writing but us uh, for us for our family I don't think it's valuable to spend let's say a year just working on creative writing um, I want my student to do some to learn um, how to write reports and essays and and that kind of thing because that'll serve him well throughout his life um, if I think if a student really likes to write they'll write on their own if, if they're into that, they're into telling stories and that kind of thing, they'll do that on their own, <clears throat> but they need school <laughs> to learn how to write reports and all, especially if they're possibly going to be college bound. And even if not, writing is a very valuable skill in whatever field they choose. Uh, so um, they do learn how to take notes, how to write from those notes, um, and how to write research reports using different um, sources and how to put it all together into one cohesive report. And then also there's like a grammar aspect to it. 
uh, so that they their writing isn't just correct, but it's also like the facts aren't just correct. It's, it's about also um, making it interesting to read. There is a suggested weekly schedule, uh, which uh, I'll talk about more in a minute. We don't totally use, but I, I mostly go off of that. Uh, the scope and sequence has literature suggestions in it as well. If you choose to use those, um, it's nice, I think, to to have a, a nice handy list of very um, uh, quality literature suggestions. So if if you're at a loss for what should your student read, the, the, these are some good suggestions. Um, there's also encouragement for practicing good public speaking, which was new to us. And uh, so I'm not focusing on this too much. I mean, I touch on it with my son um, each lesson when we're going over his keyword outline, which I'll talk about in a minute. You can get a download from IEW with timestamps for the videos. So they, they show you in the weekly schedule, like when to watch the different parts of a video and some of the, the videos are lengthy so you might be watching a video for like a half hour um, so they break it up usually over a couple of different days so like day one you watch from this time to this time day two you watch you continue watching it so the timestamps uh, do help so you know when to stop the video now, during the videos, uh, Mr. Poudois is writing notes on a board. So the board notes are included in the teacher's manual um, in case maybe your student gets frustrated and, and is writing more slowly or the camera moves. And my kids have gotten frustrated about that sometimes. So it is nice to be able to to look at the board notes and so I can just show them to him if he missed something. There's also another download with an adapted 30 week schedule for this curriculum. And I would recommend it, especially if you're new to IEW, go ahead and look at all of their recommendations for lesson planning. Uh, choose what you think might work out for you guys and then um, adapt it as you go along um, to fit your particular, your particular family and your particular student. All right, so here's how I'm using it. The first thing to know is that I do have my own keyword outline worksheets. So the student from the start of the curriculum learns how to write a keyword outline based on source text. And Mr. Poudois shows how to do that. Uh, but I found it helpful to create my an actual worksheet for the keyword outlines that also includes an area to add dress ups to help my students keep all of their information um, and all of their ideas and thoughts organized. I, I think this is helpful when you have kids who maybe aren't very neat in their writing. <laughs> like my kids, you know, they're not super neat and things get messy real fast. So having that worksheet and then having like that separate area for the dress ups that they learn as they're moving along, like it's things like adding adverbs and adjectives and that kind of thing. And my thought is that eventually they won't need those worksheets, that they'll have to use them so often that they'll know how to keep their, their um, outlines neat. So that's just what works for us and my thoughts on that. We do use a five day a week schedule instead of a four day a week schedule. Like the first day I have them do a keyword outline, the next day add dress ups to their keyword outline worksheet. The third day, write the first draft without the dress ups, just writing from the keyword outline. The fourth day, going through going through and editing it, adding their dress ups and editing it from the checklist that Mr. Poudois provides. And then after I check it, the fifth day, they write their final draft. So that's in general what I do. Um, and sometimes it, if it's, let's say, a three paragraph um, assignment, I may stretch that out even more because since it's only like 24 lessons in it, we have the wiggle room to, to stretch things out and if we need to. So uh, that, those are just some ideas of, of how to use this curriculum. 
We are using a couple of the literature su suggestions uh, that's in the uh, scope and sequence. And instead of doing like a full on report for them, I, I have a, a worksheet, like literature worksheets that I use with my kids. I really love IEW's writing curriculum. If you're interested in more flip throughs, go ahead and check out my playlist and get some more ideas for your homeschool. I'll talk to you soon.